couple of questions. Um, one's yeah. long uh, and one's short and probably a bit more fun, I guess, to answer. But um, okay. we're going to start. We're going to start with the with the long one. I, I, we don't need to spend too long on this. I just thought let's. Uh, you know, because I've been gathering a few listener questions, and I thought, let me just pick, you know, the last two that we got, and we'll kind of just uh, talk about them quickly here. Um, this this one comes from again, Mr. Chris Christopher Harrison, uh, Louis, you, you know him. Um, so he's yeah. basically saying, I wondered if you guys could take a hot take on on what you thought of the future of storytelling would be, and now that we're able to engage with stories and narratives across multiple devices at multiple times and in multiple locations at once. I think he, he wrote quite a long email and I think he kind of gets lost in what he's saying. But I think to sum it up into a question, he was kind of talking about, um, obviously, because, you know, like COVID's come and the rise of streaming has really kind of taken over hmm. and been a thing. And COVID's kind of been mm -hmm. a catalyst for that. And it probably was going to go, I think streaming was on its way into where it is now. But right. COVID definitely, you know, it, it kind of capitalized on that and it kind of fast tracked it to where it is. Um you know, cinemas are here. Um, and it's kind of like, will cinemas still be around in 10, 20 years? Like, how do you think it's streaming is going to be like when the pandemic's over? Is streaming still going to be what it is today? Um, like, how, how do, you do you guys think... miss cinemas? Like, uh, oh, massive, man. Yeah, Big time. I do. Yeah, you miss oh. no, I'm <laughs> I miss the cinemas now, with Mark. Yeah, I'm going to be the odd one now. I'm anti social, <laughs> so no. I'm the same. I man. don't miss it. I don't miss it at all. You don't I miss don't them. Miss you don't miss it. having the, that big screen experience. Like, no, I don't miss it's, it. It's, it's, really? I, I'm too sensitive to people around me. So even though the big screen is really nice and the sound quality is really nice, okay. when that guy next to me laughs at the wrong time or starts like scrunching <laughs> up his fucking candy wrappers. <laughs> I remember that <laughs> as part of my experience for the movie, and right. it it really gets under my skin. I remember the last movie I saw in the theaters. I just had these three guys just screaming, "Oh yeah, fam! What's up, fam? Oh, what's he going to do, fam?" And that's all I can remember. That movie. Yeah, that, I, I can't was even me, Mark, and, movie. <laughs> and Alex. Yeah, that was me, Mark, and Will. <laughs> What what movie was it? Out of interest. I can't remember. I can't. All I remember is Central that from the movie. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> that's what I remember, and I mean, okay. it would be nice if I had my own theater, but I, mm. I, I don't, I don't like people being around me to that degree. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I love, I love this. To just to chip in, I what I love about the cinema is, is, it's, it's a day out. It's not just the experience of watching the film in the cinema. It's kind of like the, the build up for it. Like every every day that I wake up and I'm like, I'm going to cinema to see this film. <laughs> It's like I'm right. excited the whole right. day. I'm excited about it, and I I don't know if it's the popcorn. It's it's the whole the whole. It sounds gay. The whole package is what I really <laughs> like. And <laughs> I've had some of is my. Is this like in? The, is this the gay handbook? Like <laughs> being excited about movies is a gay thing to be. You don't you don't do that in the cinemas. You do that in the privacy of your own home. Ah, oh, okay. So that's, <laughs> that's where I'm going okay, wrong. Anyway. But no, no. It, it is the whole package, and and like. I've had like good experiences at the cinema with you, Mark, haven't I? Like when we saw, when we went to see Get Out, um, we went to see oh, yeah, John, yeah, John yeah, Wick. Yeah, yeah. We went to see like loads of different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Um, Will, we went to see Power Rangers, which I actually thought was an uh, I loved that movie. Uh, oddly <laughs> enough, um, <laughs> we went to see Ghost in the Shell, that was pretty crap. But like we've we've gone to, and we went to Studio Ghibli to see um, uh, Grave of the Fireflies, Grave of the Fireflies, which, which scarred so me, depressing, scarred me for yeah, the rest yeah. of my life. Yeah, but yeah. like it's 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 like a day because it's a day out. It's a it's a, it, I'm all, I always remember it. Like I remember watching this. I remember watching that. But when it's streaming at home, I never have the memory of oh I remember the first time I watched you know so and so mm. when I streamed it on Netflix. Oh, fair point. That's a fair point. Um, yeah. I, I kind of remember it because it's it's more of an event, and especially with the Marvel movies, like I it was it it got to a point where. Like I wasn't just watching it for myself. I I was mm. watching it with with the fans. Like it was a fan thing. It's like I wanted yeah. to be with the fans, and it was, it was like I was at a football match. You know, like it was like I wanted. Where we you know when Thor comes to Wakanda and everyone is just screaming in the cinema. It's like <laughs> I I never would like that in a film when I think about it. But when it's happening, I'm just like, oh, this is what I want. This is so I'm yeah, like I'm massive. Yeah, I'm fun. massively into going cinemas but i i only mm. really like going cinema if it's like a massive blockbuster film that i've really wanted to see yeah. 
Well, I think um, but that, that's yeah, definitely yeah. the positive. Definitely a positive. Yeah. For things. <laughs> like if I could just get rid of all those people that screams at the thing at the wrong times and scrunching their, their sweets, <laughs> I'd be fine. I'd love the cinema. You know, everyone clapping when it was just like, you know, it won't be. You're like, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but when, on when your left. it's not that. Yeah, on, yeah. on your left. All that stuff. When it's not yeah, that, yeah, though, yeah. it mars the experience. Yeah. So I, I'm... So I, I I do I do see where you're coming from. There are niggas, yeah, but I do I do feel unfortunately that that you know all these studios are now going to push for streaming services because they don't have yeah. to <clears throat> their cut of profits doesn't have to be to the cinemas. They pretty much take all the all the all the profit. So I think there is going to be that push. Um, but there's there's also it's also mm. it's a double edged sword for them because it's. They, by them doing that, they they lose a lot of their their off, yeah. box office revenue. They, they lose piracy. a massive, yep. a mm. massive amount. Maybe like ninety percent of of what they would they have got in the cinema. Yeah. yeah, that's why Black Widow was. You know, they've been struggling. Shall we put this out in cinema or shall we put this out in streaming? Mm. Because it's like we we know if you put it out in, in cinema, we're gonna get like five six times the amount that we would get. Right, and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's it's. But again, if streaming changes slowly. And, and different kind of packages of 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 how you kind of um i guess how you you know get that content it, it, it might it's, it's either going to change the film the film industry in the sense of they're going to make films in a cheaper budget to to match the streaming costs uh, or the streaming right. profits or they're going to up the streaming cost to match the film budgets yeah. like it's, it's one <clears> or the <throat> other i can't see any yeah. middle ground Maybe speaking of which, though, say let's just say Snyder Cut, <clears throat> we may see movies have their theatrical release in theaters, but we might start seeing the director cuts that you know are a million years long actually start showing up. <laughs> a million years <laughs> long, <laughs> <laughs> million years. So, uh, yeah, it it that <laughs> is something that from an artistic point of view, having your actual full vision there that yeah. isn't like subject to oh it has to be two hours to fit five showings in one day. Right. That's that's something that might be very liberating for a lot of artists. And you might see more of that, especially with the fact that Snyder Cut has done so well. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. Really I agree well. with that. <clears throat> and and it's like, it's like a double win that, for, yeah. for like Warner Brothers or whatever studio. They they release their film and if there is a, a director's cut or an extended cut, they release that. They wouldn't normally release that in some other release that on on uh, pay to go services or like, you know, you know whatever, Blu-ray, whatever it is. But if they're going to be doing that on streaming, then I guess then mm. that's like a, a second revenue, like a few months later down the line for them. So yeah. that's, a, that's a good shout, Lou. I think that's something that we, we might see. And with the Snyder cut, we've we've kind of already stepped into that. Like it's it's been such a success. If, if Snyder cut wasn't a success, um it would have kind of shaped the future now moving mm. forward differently to what it is but it is yeah. a success and everyone's yeah. you know talking about it so you know <clears throat> but what um, do you guys think sorry can yeah. i just ask what do you guys think about um you know with <laughs> yeah here we go <laughs> 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 you know with like um disney plus with like Mul mulan and um raya and the last dragon yeah um i imagine black widow will be the same <laughs> How they um, you have to pay like you you're paying your subscription. <laughs> what, fee. Sorry, why is Will laughing? I'm gonna see if Will will laugh. Yeah, sorry, my God. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the sense that you know you're having to pay you pay your subscription fee to Disney Plus, but then also for premiers, you actually have with well, certain movies anyway. You having to pay extra on top. Um, yeah. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, I'm not a fan of it. I get why they're doing it. Because you need to make extra well, this is what I'm saying. Things, but yeah, this, this how is do you guys feel about it? They, they, it, it's not good, but it's understandable. It, it, it's something that they have to do because if they don't mm. do that, then they just lose money, and then it's not good. It's not good for the studio to lose money because then the films that we will be getting from them are going to be less, less films mm. and at a lower cost or lower budget, and then it can affect things. So they have to kind of come at it with this. You know, you're already paying for plus, but if you pay extra, you're going to get these one-off films. And so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the. Um, I don't. I don't know what the. I guess the. 
the structure will be for streaming. But I think with that structure in place, it's not it's not good. Like no no one's a fan of it. Um, no one's a fan of it, obviously, because they're already paying. Like, why am I paying more for this if I'm paying for Disney exactly. Plus? I yeah, should, exactly. I should be getting everything. Sure, so, they sort of do it with sporting events, though, don't they? Like, like boxing. <coughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. They make you pay extra. That's true. But sporting oh. events, I think, are are they are um, more. There's few few of them. You know, you only get like you know like like for example, football. You get like the Euro Cup or whatever, the World Cup. It's it's like it's not like every month something massive is happening whereas with films if like every month there's going to be big films coming out um, mm. like which ones are going to be for free which ones are going to be i don't know it's 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 it. what i think a good system could be is you can go on disney plus for free and you get a limited amount of content on disney plus for free um and if you want to buy let's say ride the last dragon comes out and it costs i'm just just giving an example costs you know 30 right. £30, right. pounds, $30, dollars, you can do that. But if you're a Disney Plus subscriber, you get all of the Disney Plus catalog and that Ride the Last Dragon doesn't cost $30, it can cost $15. So you get like a... I, I think there needs to be a tier system or something. I, I, I don't know. I'm not a business person, but yeah, right now, I, I, I'm never going to pay... Disney Plus for the day or something like that. And then you get yeah, it. I'm just not... I'm not a fan of it, yeah. but I, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Yeah, I think same, a tier, a tier system does make sense, I think. Um. Yeah, it's it's a tough. Yeah, it's very tough for the studios. <coughs> I imagine like, it's, it's tough for the studio, but believe it or not, I think that 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 system actually works out okay for the the user, mm. because um because we're we're now releasing stuff straight to the internet, um we get to choose much quicker and much more informed about what we're actually going to be spending our extra payment towards. Mm. For example, Mulan has been not a good movie. I have no, not seen that movie. It's not very I, good. I, I, and... I, I liked it, but I never saw the original no, Disney. It's, it's, I, I definitely it's saw not, the original. Um, what, the live action is not great at all. Yeah, so that allowed, because of she, that she being good. you know released on Disney, <laughs> I was able to make that choice of going, <laughs> I can, now that so many people just added that you know bonus money to their thing and saw the movie, mm. I don't have to go in and watch a movie. I don't have to buy, get a bus ticket go in and find out that I've just watched a shitty movie. I can just go, <laughs> right, I'm not getting that. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. So they it also helps in terms of knowing what movies they're going to put up for say for free that's part of their subscription and what movies they might actually be like, yes, this is worth your time to pay extra to watch. Um mm. like so yeah, I, I think it could work out. Um, I'm not a fan of it simply because I am paying yeah, for yeah. this service, for especially with Disney Plus, where yeah. almost all of their content I've already seen like 20 years ago, right? Yeah. Um, so why am I paying for this? But at the same time, if you release movies like Mulan, I know that I'm not going to pay the extra. But if it was only in theaters, I might have had to go and pay the extra, which was probably going to be more money, by the way, by going to see in theaters and then just be as disappointed. So, uh, yeah, I think that's why I'm not that's how people are trying to are justifying it. Um, but I feel like if you're going to pay extra, then there needs to be some kind of maybe added value. And I don't know what that would be, whether it's extra commentary, you know, from the directors or something or, oh, yeah, you, that would be nice. you know, like. I don't know some kind of deleted scenes or you know some kind of extra content that makes paying that extra worthwhile I think uh, in my mind anyway have you guys yeah. ever been to um, like secret cinemas and things like that before no I haven't actually I've we, we were them. meant to go to some kind of not secret cinemas but those cinema um, Mark I think you invited me to a, a couple where it was like van damme night and he was up on a roof oh yeah those are just... the yeah it was like these marathons where you get all the all of the arnie movies back to back to back <laughs> like yeah over one night or something and then it was like <laughs> secret the van damme ones fucking awesome like yeah like, the, like those sort yeah. of omnibus of just all the van damme movies or something like that and they make it more yeah. of a experience like i mm, think i went immersive. to like a uh, Stranger Things one, and they had like it. Was, I mean, it's obviously going to cost you more money, but they kitted out yeah. all the environment, like the sort of I think it was like hall in like kind of the upside down world and stuff like that, and then people <laughs> dressed up and stuff. So mm. it kind, it kind oh, of nice. became this really cool That's experience. Awesome. Uh, 
Um, yeah. if, mm. if that sort of became the next evolution of cinema, I'd be interested and happy to go out and do that because it becomes it's like what you're saying, Alan, more like of an experience. Park. Yeah, like a, a something to for me I would remember more and sort of it becomes mm. an event in a way. So yeah, and yeah, like a theme park and like it's not just you go to a cinema and then they just play the movie. It's just like you maybe you just go to the cinema but like they've kitted the cinema they've decorated the cinema in like the around the theme of the movie or something like that. And maybe that would mm. entice me a little bit more to I'd obviously that cost go back. you more. But But the the cost yeah. of that is is like, going to it's, it's going to go up, yeah. Yeah, it's going to mm. deter a lot of studios from wanting to do that. Although that that in, in theory and practice that's awesome. And I think in America in a lot of theme parks they do shows like that where I saw Terminator in three D where you know he it's the the cinema itself or the the, the viewing arena that you're watching the film or the, the clip or whatever is is kind of kitted out is as you're you're there um be awesome have a terminator as the terminator shoots someone in the movie that someone jumps out and shoots you in the fucking chest i would not be paying for that cinema ticket thank you very much because <laughs> You know, out of the cinema, out of everyone, it's going to be me or you, Louis, that's getting oh. shot in the chest. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah Connor. <laughs> Whoa, this is really real feeling. <laughs> I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycles. <laughs> leave the cinema. Rips your fucking clothes leave the cinema naked. Give me your clothes, fam. <laughs> Yo, give me your clothes, fam. <laughs> just some, just, just some, hood, some hoodlum comes out with a really crappy Arnie mask, just trying to mug you. <laughs> oh, blood. He's smoking a split. He puts a split out on your chest. He puts a split out on your chest. Ooh, fam. Oh, oh God. mate, you definitely oh. remember that. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always remember that scene where he's just like when you when you hear all the people go ooh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, he gets a cigarette out. <laughs> Did you see the hole that the cigarette made in his chest? Though it was like an actual yeah. hole, and I was just like, that, surely crap, that man. wouldn't. That's some really like weak <laughs> bio <laughs> tissue weak flesh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking hole in his chest from a cigarette butt. Barely, it's barely as hot as a candle. And yeah, it digs a hole. <laughs> Such a shit Terminator. Can you imagine if that Terminator actually got banged up by those guys? <laughs> just gets dashed out, dashed out of a bar and keep in your clothes. And just beat the shit out of him. Oh, just gets smashed over the head. Oh. You. Oh, oh mate, oh. that, that would be a director's <laughs> cut. He just gets absolutely oh, smashed. Hilarious. Oh, Johnny Five shit, it's hitting him with stools and stuff like. Oh. That. Um. So okay. So I guess oh. I guess the, to answer Chris Harrison's question, mm. it's kind of like your. I, I guess streaming is just gonna keep growing. Then I guess that's what our kind of incentive is. Am I am I right? Is that our thought? I think, yeah, I think oh, yeah. it will. I Cinemas will. will still be around, yeah. but I think the way fi- I think films naturally. At least for the next five years, they, their their budget is going to, um, is going to be, uh, I guess, squashed. I think films are going to come out with a, a mm. lot smaller production values uh, moving forward for at least a while, um, and I think there's going to be a more experimentation on streaming services and to see what model they can get that's actually going to work. Yeah, I think people, I think people by definition are lazy, but you know, um, yeah, some of us really want to go back to cinemas and some of us don't really mind. Um, the second question.